I've studied fine arts for eight years. Um, so when I accepted to be a speaker for the work camp, I, the decision for the topic wasn't too hard for me. Um, it was going to be about colors. Colors play a very important role in the design and our everyday life. We select our outfits based on their colors, paint our houses with our favorite colors, purchase a product, a new phone or a new car because of their color, or maybe not the pink one, but that's okay. <laughs> However, colors still offer more. They make us communicate without using words. They evoke emotions and moods, attract attention, and drive conversation when we use it in a right way. That's why using the right color combination in the designing process is one of the most important steps in creating a successful website. But how colors impact our visitors or our customers? The first thing that visitors notice about our website is the design and the color combination. No matter how good the content or product is, even the usability of our site, due to the wrong color combination, its impression could make visitors leave the site. And that would be the last thing we would like as a business owners or bloggers or a designer. So, Studies suggest that people make subconscious judgment about the product within 90 seconds of initial viewing. 62 to 90% of this assessment is based on color alone. 85% of shoppers place color as a primary reason why they buy a particular product. 46.1% of people Say website's design is the number one criterion for discerning the credibility of the company. Color increase brand recognition by 80%. Brand recognition directly links to consumer confidence. And I saw this and I just feel like I had to put it in there. A Midwestern insurance company used color to highlight key information on their invoices. As a result, they began receiving customer payments an average of 14 days earlier. So as this example shows that we can definitely benefit what colors can offer to our businesses in so many different ways. But before we start, how can we choose the right colors for our projects? There are some questions we can ask to ourselves or our clients to understand better what the brand or what the website is going to be. Do they have a logo, an established logo that we can use the color from? What feelings and emotions we associated our brands or our clients' brands? What are the current color trends? Do we know our visitors' reasons, emotions, and the moods to visit our sites? And what kind of images do we want to use in our sites? So after we ask these questions, all it takes is a little research and right tools. Let's look into some of the very helpful ways to choose the color palette for our websites. So, before we start, these are some very important um, options we can use. Using our brand colors. We can look into color, color psychology, color theory, using images to create a color palette. How colors communicate to our brains? Every color has different feelings or emotions attached to it. 
So we can use them to get people feel or think a certain way. Big companies don't pick their dominant or brand colors by accident. It is strategically chosen to be used as part of their branding and marketing goals. <laughs> Using the brand colors is basically means the logo of your brand. Color psychology can help us find the color that best represents what our site stands for. Color theory can help us understand which colors look good together and which ones don't. Using images to create, use, I'm sorry, using images to create color palette can help us find idea, ideas for the color combinations from the interesting images, from advertising and branding to famous work of art. So I just took a screenshot of the Jetpack um, homepage. And I wanted to show you how they use the brand color and the secondary color and their neutral color. They use their brand color to highlight an information for their um, navigation. And then they use their secondary color to highlight secondary information. Choosing color palette that matches our brand is a really good idea. It makes a stronger connection with the brand and helps our users easily remember our sites. Let's look at the color psychology. So color psychology can help us find the color that best represents our, what our site stands for. Blue represents trust, security, stability, peace, and calmness. And it's been used in businesses and banks to create sense of security, trust in the brand. And it is actually the number one color um, liked by both men and women. Green represents wealth, health, tranquility, and na nature. It's the easiest color for the eye to process, so it has a relaxation effect. Green is the second preferred color by both men and women. Red represents passion, energy, urgency, excitement, vibrancy, and danger. It is used to create urgency for people to buy, effective in triggering strong emotional reactions and restaurants use it to stimulate appetite. We also see that as fast food uses the most. I'm not gonna read all of this, uh, but I'm gonna give you just the highlights on uh, what other colors can represent. Yellow is youthfulness, optimism, and cheerfulness. Orange represents friendliness, enthusiasm, and creativity. Pink represents feminine, sweetness, innocence, fertility, and romance. And as you see, there are certain brands in there that they use these colors, really shows how colors impact the brand. Purple represents royalty, wealth, success, and wisdom. Gray represents neutral, simplicity, calm, futuristic, and logic. And black represents power, luxury, sophistication, and elegance. As we have a general idea about what color captures the character of our websites, now we can look into color wheel to see how we can create a great color palette. So let's start with the basics. We have three primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. And then three secondary colors are orange, purple, and green. Secondary colors are created by combining two primary colors. Yellow and red make orange, yellow and blue make green, and blue and red make purple. If we mix these colors together, we get even more in between shades 
and all together they create the color wheel. Color harmony can be used for balancing your palette. These are the in-between colors of our color wheel. If you already have an idea of what your dominant color is for your website, it's time to think about the secondary color to round out your color palette. And your color har harmony can help us find a good match. There are analogous colors is for colors fall side by side on the color wheel. Monochromatic colors are using one single color and explore different variations of light and saturation. Complementary colors appear opposite each other on the color wheel, creating a high contrast, vibrant, attention-grabbing scheme when you use together. Tried color schemes use colors that space evenly apart on a color wheel, like points of triangle. Hue is, there are, all right, so we're going to talk about the shades, tones, and tints. And basically, what, what they are is, we have a color, is, hue is basically another word for a color. Tint, tints are created when you add white to any color on the color wheel to lighten, desaturate it, and dial down the color's intensity. Tones are the gray area between tints and shades. Tones are created by adding both black and white to the original color to either darken or lighten it. So decrease the saturation of the original color. Shades are created to adding black to the color, resulting in a richer, darker, and more intense color. Using tints, tones, and shades can even out the color values, resulting in a visual pleasing color combination. Using images to create color palette can help us find ideas of the color combination in all kinds of interesting images, from advertising to branding to famous work of art. We can find color inspiration in any images we would like to use in our project, and there are great tools to create color palette for us. If we already have an idea of what our dominant color is going to be, now it's time to create um, a layout using those colors. They will make up most of the structure of our design. We'll be using them as our titles, text, body text, background, and foreground elements, sidebars, form fields, and list goes on. We have the color that we use mostly 60% of our home page. The secondary colors should be around 30%. And then we have a um, neutral colors that we can use to um, highlight or downlight some colors. But what are the things that um, we can do to um, create a better looking website? First of all, we use simple complementary color palette. Fewer colors help visitors focus on what the intent of the website is. Make sure your content is read readable because that is also accessibility issue or we don't know what kind of um, screen people has. So we might want to test our colors in different screens. Keep your colors constant, consistent, consistent. That way it won't be 
it won't be so confusing people to where to look or where, what you want to highlight on your website. Consider using shades and tents to balance your design to make, make it really stands out. Make important elements such as call to action buttons or login forms, focal points using isol isolation effects. And what we shouldn't do. We shouldn't use too many colors as it will make us uh, confuse where to look, where to find the right information. We shouldn't use overly saturated colors. Overly saturated colors on the background and as text. We shouldn't use low contrast uh, between text and image. It is very hard to read and you won't be able to tell what is going on on your image or on your text. And don't use black text on a dark background. So I have some um, color creation tools that um, I want to share with you today. First, we have the um, Adobe Color CC. It's been around for a while, and it's one of the best color tools out there for picking your color palette. I'm going to go and show you the examples of them in a bit, but I just wanted to go through it first. So we have colors. Colors offer a wide, wide variety of um, tools adjusting the palette just the way we want it. The color palette generator by um, Canva is perfect if you're looking to create a color palette based around a particular image. So you upload an image and then it will give you what colors in there you can use. There is designseeds.com. It's very beautiful uh, and great idea about how an image can create beautiful color palettes. And you can choose by colors if you don't have an idea of what your brand will be or what your website's color will be. It, it can give you great, great ideas. Um, I just actually found this website when I was uh, searching for the uh, presentation, and I thought it was it, it's, it can be very very helpful. Uh, it's brand colors, uh, so like you'll be able to search any brands, and they'll show you all the colors that brands associate with. Um, I search for WordPress, and WordPress uses these colors, and they are pretty accurate. They they, they did a great job. And um, Color Code is another great tool. Um, it's featuring background that changes color with your cursor movement. So it's very easy to use. And then you can also show, um, look at the color uh, harmony that matches with your colors. So and uh, the more we play with color and practice design, the better we'll get. So I would like to show you some of the, um, give you some examples of the um, color creation tools. So Adobe Color CC, if you already have the color, you can put it in here and then that will lock your colors. And then you have the cursors to move to find the colors that you like. And then if you choose, let's say we choose this green right here. And then we're going to see we can change the color harmony on as we talked about. Analogous, it's the side by side colors monochromatic colors. They are the shades of one color. 
complementary colors is the opposite size. And list goes on. You can look at the shades. You can look at the compound. And then if you don't like it, you can change it by just finding your right combination. Coolers are, they are pretty awesome. So it will change. You go generate, and it will give you random, um, random color combination that maybe you wouldn't think using it, but as you're seeing here, you love it and you would like to use it. These are nice. <laughs> uh, color palette generator um, from Canva. So we upload an image and then it will show us the um, the colors that that image uses. So if you really have a favorite image, it's perfect. You can find any colors you want and then you decide which one you would like to use. This is the design seeds I was talking about that I really like. So we choose a color and then it will give us the color palette showing the images that um, color has. And you can also go explore by the collect, uh, collection. There's Seasons, Nature's, Wonder, Studio Hues, and Edible Hues, which is colors. This is the brand color that I was talking about. And when you search, here is what it shows. Any color, uh, any brand you would like to use didn't do the apple, but it is a great um, inspiration for if you have a brand that is matching with your brand and you would like to see what color they use, you might want to use this as well. And the color code. So the color code, you move your cursor and it finds the different colors palettes for you and if you decide one you can go and choose again the color harmony you can use it for dark gray light gray and then all bunch of different um, options there that you can um, you can find and um, the as last thing I found this great article that um, shows um, how, you know, website color schemes, and I really recommend you guys take a look at it. Um, it shows the different um, color palettes that websites use, and it gives you a great idea. There is no limit of using colors on our websites. Even it's very saturated and um, bright to um, beautiful blues and yellows and um, very muted tones. Um, yeah, so um, I can give you guys the address of the, um, any of these uh, websites if you need to. And that is all, actually. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Sorry, I was a little excited today, but <laughs> so if you guys have any questions, yeah. Yeah, I mean, of course, it is not really a certain certain. Um, how to say it, like certain way, like whatever you kind of uh, like, that will be what you want to use also. But usually we have our main colors, we have our secondary colors, and we have our neutral colors. Neutral colors are using for um, like certain elements that separate um, 
our main colors from the website, right? So we use it as a maybe background for our um, form elements. We use it as a um, background elements. So like if you want to use any color and balance it, I think you'll just get a great result. It doesn't have to be three colors or two colors. It's all about you balancing it out. If that explains. I guess how do you know Yeah, like the more you play with it, like there is no um, written example for it, you know? You have to really visualize it and then you have to play with it, what does look good after you choose your colors that will match together. And then using them in your website will be your preferences. When, if you have a client that is, um, let, let's say there's no existing color scheme, no, you have a logo or a figure they want a new one. And they have in mind a certain color scheme that's just awful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, it's a, you look at it and say, you're going to irritate a lot of people. Uh-huh. So I guess like that's why the color psychology could get into. Like we can find what they represent and then color psychology can help us which color is actually uh, best uh, represents them. And then after we find out if we really, they don't have any idea, after we find out which color, and then we can go look at the color harmony, find the shades and values that it doesn't have to be blue, like pure blue, it, has to, it can be the shades of the blue. And then as a designer, or as a developer, then you can say, okay, I found as these examples that um, the tools, creation tools gives us, we can just visualize how the colors match together and these will help us. So we can create a color palette and show our clients and if they like it, you know, they, they'll, they'll use it, they can create their um, logo with it, they can um, use it on their websites and everything. So, yeah. I'm gonna read, I think, is hit the nail on the head. Like, hmm. you, he said you have a, a color palette that the client likes. Okay. And, and it looks bad. A color, it's oh, it subject, looks bad. But the, the, the client likes it. Okay. You have a, your gut feel tells you it's gonna perform terribly. So, I think, Okay. Uh -huh. I, I I don't know. I feel like they won't they won't like that idea. But if you suggest, all right. So they have the colors that they like, and then maybe as a designer, you have the ability to make those colors, play with their um, values, and use them on your design that will actually look good. I mean, yeah, I understand they might have a really bad color palette that you wouldn't know what to do with it. But again, don't use the color, just use the shades of color at the saturation uh, or you know intensity, and then you'll find a perfect a color combination that actually looks good on your eye and then I'm sure they'll be happy with it. You can use both of the color palettes because it's so easy now that you can use um, color combinations uh, that will, um, you can present them. So you can do two of them and compare, make them, you know, compare it and if they still like that, then it's not really <laughs> on your call anymore. I'm sorry? 
Sure. I mean, there are so many um, great articles on the web that uh, we can find, and I can give you the um, the research that I did for this presentation. But um, yeah, it's it's all um, it's all like there are great uh, books, there are great uh, articles and videos that uh, we can look into, and it's also our um, a little bit of what we like also, you know what I mean? So like if you like a color, I'm sure you'll make a great combination, great palette with that color and you can present it, either use it on your site. And there is no, um, there is no really, um, I don't have to say that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so. <laughs> it's subjective and it's objective. I mean, objectively, you can say these colors represent X. And yeah. Sell yeah, there, there are. It's subjective, then some people like something and some people truly don't like something. Mm -hmm. so if you think something's going to work really well, you'll find people going to go, yeah, but I hate that color. Yeah. And you will have to deal with that. And the final goal for scenarios, like, for example, like McDonald's Red and the Yoga Studio. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but also like McDonald's doesn't want to make you calm. It wants you to make like, all right, I'm hungry. I need to eat. It's you know like so they really when you look at the solar color um, psychology and um, branding, it is just perfect match for uh, everything that color, color psychology um, shows. So, yeah. That's great. All right. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, I really like. Uh huh. Yeah. So, like, hold on one second. So, monochromatic is guaranteed to match. It's the shades of the colors. So, like, I prefer this on uh, just creating the, um, let's say I have, the, my, I have my main color, blue, right? So I get the shades to use maybe when you click on a um, button, it will show that it's been clicked. So I'll use that maybe lighter color to show that. You know what I mean? Or the darker to just to point out that it's been clicked. Like things like that. But um, yeah, it's, I think my favorite is the monochromatic one. Yeah. I think we're all done if you guys have any more questions. Thank you. 
Oh, you do, yes, right here. You can use the Mm-hmm. I just wanted to show the um, different um, websites. That's why I use the, um, this one right here. But yeah, you can use the um, import image button on this also. All right, thank you so much. This was...